Okay, we're gonna go over how to defend against a roundhouse kick off the rear leg right now because there's a lot of different ways to do this. There's a lot of bad ways I've seen this done. In fact, recently I saw somebody, a roundhouse kick came in and they trapped like this. Now I, I even used my palm to kind of check it off just even though we're doing it slow motion, I still knew I was gonna get hit. You might be able to trap and the rest of the technique, you take the person down and do whatever, but by that time you've already got broken ribs. Okay, so that, that's not good. The first thing you need to deal with is not getting hit by the kick. And if I just wrap over it, I'm not doing anything to deal with that. Now the next method uh, that we have is he throws the kick and I lunge in and I do a palm in a, in a V trap. Okay. And even doing that, when he, when he kicks, I'm still going to get hit. And we tested this in class earlier in the week, actually. Uh, and it resulted in a, in a bruised arm because we had the person kick and uh, the other person was really trying to block to stop the kick and it, it just, it doesn't do it. The palm block, it's almost like he's throwing the kick and I'm meeting force on, on force. What I need to do, and, and even just lunging, that's not enough. What we're going to do is move around the circle. So as he's kicking, I'm moving even further away so that this is the point where he's going to hit with the most amount of uh, momentum the most power that he has, okay, maximum power. What I'm doing is, is moving around so that his kick is going to try to follow me, but by this time it's already losing some of its momentum, okay? So once we do that, that's good, let's turn around so you can see this. He throws that kick. I lunge and I even move back. This is actually a, a sabaki movement. So he kicks, I move around like this, I block. What's his first thing going to be? He's going to use this hand. Okay, I'm going to answer the question for you. He's going to use this hand, and he's going to be throwing a punch. Because okay, he's not just going to stand there. Just because I trapped his leg, he's not done fighting. So you have a couple of options. The first thing I need to do is check that hand. Okay? I can do that. I can throw a back fist. That even that coming in kind of acts as a check. And then I come down and I pin it nice and solid. So if you want to startle the person before you move in, you can do that. So, but absolutely check this hand off. Okay. Now I'm going to step up. I still, he can still be putting up a fight. We used to have the technique tap this way a little. We used to have the technique where you just you step in, you sweep that leg out. What I want you to insert at this point is a rising knee because that's going to. Uh, also distract him from fighting while I sweep him and it's going to hurt a whole heck of a lot. <laughs> so knee, take that leg out and take him down. You've already kneed him on the ground. If you want, you can give him another punch or another stop, okay, or even drop your knee down in there. And then we're going to take this leg because I kind of have to worry about this leg. While I cross away, I'm going to toss that leg that way to kind of tie him up and, and act as a check against his other weapons. So again, the footwork is essential. He throws that kick, I'm moving around. I'm moving with the kick. I'm yielding to the attack. Again, he throws the kick, I'm yielding and I trap. I check this arm. There could be a strike first, but definitely check that arm. Step up, rising knee to the groin. This is great if, Rick, come over here. If I'm dealing with multiple opponents, here's a multiple opponent fighting technique. Knee, now I kick this guy, and I sweep him out. Possibly into that guy if he's still coming in. Drop a knee in there if you want. Punch him. If he starts sitting up, I can punch him in the face. Get rid of that leg, and get out of there. Let's do it from this side again. I'm giving you a lot of options, because that's how your techniques work. It shouldn't be one size fits all. It shouldn't be, this is the only way it's done. Okay, it's an art. So when you look at a technique, you have different options, different ways that you can execute the technique. As long as it doesn't violate the concepts and the theories that are being applied in that technique. Okay, so you can't do just anything, but you do have options. So he kicks, I move around here, check this arm, knee, sweep that leg right out from under him. Okay, I still have to kind of worry about this. If he's still putting up a fight, I have my punch or I drop my knee in. I prefer from this position, okay, uh, you could try to do a stop, but it's easier just to drop into a knee. When I toss that leg around, look, 
That moves his whole body away from where I'm going to cross out. And that's the key to a good crossing cover. You want to create as much distance between you and your, your opponent as possible. All right, we're going to do it one more time uh, without stopping. Move this way a little. Let's have the map behind you. 